Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I identify and resolve SSL certificate trust problems when WebC application server connect to an external server? In reviewing your server's log files to diagnose a problem, you determine that an SSL handshake exception is the cause of the problem. In this example, a connection to LDAP fails because WebSphere application server does not trust the SSL certificate from LDAP. Messages that are related to the issue might be printed by different components on the server. For example, on this screen, we can see that the federated repository prints an exception about its failure to connect to the LDAP host, bluepages.ibm.com, port 636. Look for the CWPKI0429I message, which provides the exact steps to configure WebSV application server to trust the certificate by adding its signer into the WebSV application server trust store. Take some time to review the other information in the log file, and then copy the CWPKI0429I message to a separate document for a closer review. Review the steps until you feel comfortable with them. Then proceed to the WebSV application server administrative console. Expand the security section and click SSL Certificate and Key Management. Under Configuration Settings, click Manage Endpoint Security Configurations. Select the appropriate outbound configuration to get to the correct management scope. Under Related Items, click Key Stores and Certificates and click the name of the key store. Under Additional Properties, click Signer Certificates and Retrieve from Ports. Enter the host name and the port number from the message text, and then enter an alias name of your choosing for the signer entry in the key store. Click Retrieve Signer Information. Verify that the certificate information is for a certificate that you can trust. Then click OK and Save. Now the signer is added to the WebC application server key store and the connection will be successful. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.